So hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here we're going to look at how to create the earth or blue marble for a space in Unity. Uh, so this is just showing what we hope to achieve at the end. You can see the sun there and as we scroll around you can see this transition from night to day. You see the earth lights come on. No. So let's see how we make it. Um, I should point out this isn't fully my tutorial when I because uh, I needed to make the earth for one of my projects and I was using this tutorial but I had a lot of problems with it so I thought I'd make a video just to uh, show you how it's done um, the first thing that we need is we need to get all our assets we need to get all our images our normal maps and shaders and stuff like that now this tutorial here that I'm on this provides the shaders for the planets and the clouds which can be found there so you need to download them and get them uh, imported into unity uh, let's just have a look. Yep. Uh, other things that we're going to need as well, if you want a skybox, we're going to have to create that. Uh, for my skybox, I just use this program called Spacescape, which is really nice. You can create all sorts of amazing space skyboxes. Uh, I needed quite a realistic one though for my project, so I just used a few stars. I didn't use any of that green nebula stuff. Uh, other images we need are images of the Earth. Now, if you go onto the NASA website, I'll provide in these links so they on the YouTube page. Uh, so on the NASA site, we need the Earth City Lights. Uh, uh, for this one, I'd recommend getting the 16384 version, the 40 meg one. Uh, we also need this one, the Blue Marble Land Surface Ocean Colour and Sea. Uh, I'd, I'd get the 8192 version for that. Uh, we also need the clouds. Uh, now, for this one, I'd only recommend. Oh no, sorry, yeah. Uh, for this one, yeah, I'd recommend the 8192 version again 34 meg and then the other image that we're going to need off this NASA website is the topography uh, for this one though I'd only recommend getting the 5400 by 2700 version uh, if you get the other ones I, I had problems when I was trying to convert to a normal map with the larger ones so I'd, say I'd just recommend the 5400 one um, so I think that's the Main images, other things you'll need as well. If you go into the asset store in Unity, you can get some extra lens flares. Uh, out for this one, I was using the Sun from Space lens flare. Uh, also, as well, now to create your Earth, you can either just use the normal sphere that Unity provides. But if you do that, you, it's not a perfect, it's not a very good sphere, and you can see straight line edges and that. Uh, so what I did, I was I created a sphere in 3ds Max uh, with 50 sides. Uh, so if you want to do that, if you want a more rounded Earth, then I'd recommend doing that. Or you can use Blender or something. Uh, but about 50 sides and it should look alright uh, and then apart from that the other thing we need to do is we need to create our normal maps now I use GIMP uh, for this and I have downloaded a normal map plugin for it uh, now when you now if you use GIMP to make your normal maps and you load this up now you see it's greyed out at the moment if yours is greyed out you just need to go to image mode make it RGB then you can create your normal map. Uh, the thing with this as well is that you can choose how aggressive you want the normal map to be. Now when I was testing it, uh, I, th I found 3x3 three three tended to be the best, but depending on how detailed you want it and how aggressive you want the normal map to be, you can have a look at all the different settings and see what they're like. But for mine I just use 3x3. Three three three. Uh, and then it's easy to do, just click OK, generates, export it as a PNG or something else so uh, I've just called uh, I've just kept the same name put normal map on the end of it uh, so that's your normal map the other thing we need is a ramp fall off now if I just find it I used flash to create my ramp fall off uh, where did I put it Uh, so let me find it some premium. Yeah, so you also need a uh, you also need an image like this, which just it's from black to white, back to black. Uh, again, in Flash, it's incredibly easy to do, but I'm I'm sure there's plenty of other image programs there where you can do it. But there, that's what my ramp fall off looks like. Uh, so say once you've created all of them, and done it, uh, import everything into Unity. And there. And then once that's done, we can then make our materials. 
Uh, but before we do that, actually, what you want to do is you want to select all these images that you've imported, all the ones from the NASA Blue Marble set, and you want to change the max size to 4096 and the format to true color. Otherwise, it'll look quite pixelated and you don't get a very good effect. Other things to do is as well, on your normal maps, make sure the texture type is set to normal map. And that's it. Uh, so yeah, once you've done that, you can then, uh, if you just create some materials, I've just created a cloud map using the cloud shader. Uh, to do that, I've just it's just straight on with the uh, cloud image and the fall off, uh, the fall off ramp. Uh, you can also choose your room color here. And again, with the earth material, just use the planet shader provided by provided on this website. Uh, use the planet shader, uh, and then add your your land ocean ice, your normal map that you just made, and your night lights. Uh, and then also here you can uh, mess about with the night light strength and the color of them. Uh, specular color, I tend to leave quite low settings doesn't really give me a very nice effect okay so once we've got all our assets imported we can then begin to create the scene so first thing is drag your sphere in and you created i say you can either create some unity or in another program uh, i'll just set that to zero 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 you know, thing other if you create this in unit it'll automatically come with a collider but if you've imported it, it won't have one. So we just need to add a, a sphere collider. And there we go. And then, then uh, that just stops the lens ray from shining through the earth. Uh, other things we need to add as well, we need to add our sun in. So for mine, I just added a point light. Again, depending on uh, how realistic you want and the uh, kind of effects, is it um, depends on how far away you want it. Really, I tend to have mine about there, about 145 on the z-axis. Uh, increase the range so it encompasses the Earth, and then you want to also increase the intensity a bit. Uh, so about four, I'd say. Uh, and then also we'll add our lens flare in. The one I've used is the Sun from Space, so we'll add that in there. See it. You see that's incredibly bright. And there's our flare. Uh, next thing we'll do is uh, we'll just create the skybox. So I imported all my skybox images here, and then you create another material using mobile skybox shader. Um, if you use that space cake program, I was on about though, then it names them the other way around. So back should be front. Uh, left should be right and right should be left and so on like that. Uh, so then once you've done that uh, you can just apply your skybox to the scene. Space box. There we go. That's fine. Uh, and then after that all we need to do is apply our materials. So if we select our sphere and then we'll put the earth material on and we'll also put the cloud material and as you can see here, it's already pretty much done. Uh, the other things that I've done is uh, just to show it off. I've just added a s I'm gonna add a script to sphere or to the Earth. Uh, this script just so I can rotate. So Earth rotate. Just gonna add that. And then as well to uh, pan the camera, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create an empty game object, center it. the camera to it and then have camera rotate script just on that uh, if you want to see those scripts they're just here so there's my earth rotate to the mouse and then that's camera rotate as well let me just close that down okay and then once all that's been added we should just be able to play it and hopefully everything will work Just wait for Unity to uh, decide to play it. Any second now, hopefully. Here we go. So you see there, so there we're looking at the Earth from behind it. And then if we pan around, you, can you should be able to start to see the atmosphere come into view. Mm, can't really see it very well there. Again, but that's the ramp fall off here. If you want to... Uh, 
if you want to change it, you can see there the white boundary. If you play about with a ramp fall off image, uh, you should you can get uh, all sorts of different effects there. And as we go around, you can see here, you see the bump map being used and the automatic transition from night to day when the lights come on. I see it doesn't look, you can see here on the mountains as well, it doesn't look quite right, but again, they're just different settings for the normal map you've got to mess about with. I think you can even change some of the settings actually within Unity. If we yeah, you can alter the bumpiness within Unity if you want. So, I mean, that's set to not much. Let's just put that down a bit. It's not that much of a difference, but uh, yeah, so it's probably better to alter it within GIMP, your normal map, rather than within Unity. I say it's just those different settings, you just, just have a play about with them. You see, I say play about with the ramp fall off as well, and you can see different effects. So, there you go.